What's up guys, welcome to Chief's Chat, episode number 57. I'm excited. It's gonna be a great episode because we're talking about the Chief's 2021 NFL Draft class. A lot of phenomenal players on this list. I mean, such a great draft class. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about the way this football team is gonna be constructed next year. A lot of these players fit right into the system. You know, great, phenomenal football players. And these guys, they're the future of the Chiefs, okay? So let's take a look at these picks, all right? Let's go through each and every one of these picks. It's gonna be great, okay? So our first pick, okay, remember guys, we didn't get a first round pick, okay? We traded that away for Orlando Brown Jr. You know, that trade was absolutely worth it in my opinion. But let's take a look at the first pick that we made, okay? Round two, pick 58, okay? You guys know how excited I was about this pick. I mean, this guy's phenomenal. You know, I was advocating for us to pick up this guy after we traded our first round pick away. I was advocating for us to go and get this guy in the second round, Nick Bolton. That's who we picked up. Linebacker out of Missouri. Of course, you guys know, I love Missouri. I'm going there next uh, semester you know, for school. Not to play football. I mean, that'd be great, but going there for school. But yeah, Nick Bolton, this guy's great. I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. And, and the thing that we like about Nick Bolton you know, he was the play caller uh, in that Mizzou defense. He was doing a great job of calling the plays. You know, he's a smart player. He knows what he's doing and he can lead that defense. You know, who's to say he can't lead the Chiefs defense in a couple of years? I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's a really smart player. Um, you know, a couple of the weaknesses that people, you know, like to point out about Nick Bolton. He's a little undersized at six foot. Uh, so, you know, not a lot of people like that. But you know what? I mean, he makes up for it in speed and he does a great job. You know, he's got a surprising amount of hit power. You know, he's like a Tyron Matthew out there. He's just, boom, just punching people in the throat. He knows how to do it. I mean, he's great. He's just a phenomenal football player. And I was super excited about that pick. I mean, I was just like, you know, I was so pumped. I mean, you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I had to make a post right after we picked him up. I was like, yes, I was super excited. I love this guy, Nick Bolton. You know, who do you know? He's on the team, great. So our next pick, it was a few picks later, okay? And this was a really solid one as well, okay? Creed Humphrey out of Oklahoma, okay? Center, and he's great, okay? Um, he's definitely gonna, you know, he's gonna be competing for a starting job immediately because this guy knows what to do. I mean, he's great. But the big thing about him, okay, he gives us another option on the offensive line uh, because he's so big. I mean, he's he's just got an incredible amount of size. Uh, six five. let me see, what is he? I put some notes down here. Uh, he's like six five. 300 pounds, something like that. Crazy, you know, crazy amount of size, a great player. And of course, like I said, he's going to be competing for a starting job. You know, he's going to be competing with Austin Blythe for a starting job. Okay. You know, Austin Blythe, you know, it, it's weird to say that that's how good our offensive line is now because Austin Blythe is a phenomenal player. You know, he's, he's started, you know, the past three seasons with the Rams and now, you know, now, now all of a sudden on the chiefs, he's competing for a starting job with a rookie. That's how good our offensive line is now. I think it's really good. And it makes me feel very, very confident that we're gonna do some great things next year. Incredible pick. Super excited about that pick. Creed Humphrey, he's a phenomenal center. Did a great job at Oklahoma, okay? So our next pick was in round four. Uh, we had pick 144 and we picked up this guy, Joshua Kendo. You know, that's the best I can do right now. Not sure you know, how, that, how that name is pronounced. I'm not good with pronouncing names. I'm trying to get better, but you know, the best attempt here is Joshua Kendo, okay? And this guy, he's huge. He's got an incredible amount of size. You know, 6'6", 260 pound frame. But you know what's surprising about that? He's got an, an you know, amazing amount of speed as an edge rusher, you know? An incredible amount of speed. And you know what? I think he'll pair nicely with Frank Clark on the other side of that uh, edge. You know, I think he'll do a great job of getting to the quarterback quickly and efficiently, especially with his size. He's got some great fundamentals. He knows how to play the position. He just does a great job. Um, you know, the thing about him is he's got an incredible amount of upside, okay? You know, he played phenomenal when he was healthy. But yeah, that's the main problem. You know, he does get hurt every once in a while. We got to make sure that he's staying healthy and he's taking care of his body. But if he is, you know, if he's healthy and he's on the field, he's going to do great. He's just an incredible player. He's got a lot of potential, a lot of untapped potential due to his injuries. So we're really going to be able to amplify that on this Chiefs defense. And we're going to see, you know, where it takes us because I think he's going to be a great, you know, player when it comes to trying to get to the quarterback, you know, stopping the run and making sure the quarterback stays in the pocket. You know, that'll be great. You know, playing against guys like Justin Herbert, who tends to be, you know, a little bit more elusive, you know? So that'll be great. Phenomenal player. Next, we're moving on to round five, pick 162. A lot of people were kind of questioning this pick, okay? Noah Gray, tight end out of Duke. Tight end, you know, why do we need a tight end? You know, <laughs> we got Travis Kelsey. That's the main thing. Uh, but you know what? 
this is a great pick, in my opinion. This is a good pick because you look at the way this guy plays, he's like a Travis Kelsey 2.0. Not as good as Travis Kelsey, obviously, but he's like an off-brand Travis Kelsey. He knows how to play the position. You know, the Chiefs, you know, he knows how to fit into this offense because of the way that he can play the football. I mean, play the position, sorry. <laughs> play the position. He just knows how to catch footballs. It's great. And so you know, I think he fits really good into the offense, you know, and, and you know, oftentimes a lot of formations on offense, you got two tight ends and he's going to be that second guy, a really elusive player. And he's, uh, you know, not only pretty solid as a receiver, he can block, he can do a great job. You know, he was doing phenomenal at Duke and he's a good player. Noah Gray, he's a guy to watch out for. A younger guy, potentially a guy, you know, if he's good enough that could take over for Travis Kelsey once he retires. So super happy about that pick. And, you know, I think the Chiefs definitely did look at him as kind of a second Travis Kelsey. If Travis Kelsey ever gets hurt, we got this guy. We're going to bring him in. He's going to do great, okay? I'm super happy about that one. Noah Gray, phenomenal, okay? Next, another uh, round five pick here. We got Cornell Powell out of Clemson, okay? A lot of people were excited about this pick. And he's the guy that a lot of people think is going to kind of fill in for that Sammy Watkins role. Uh, you know, a guy that can really, you know, do some phenomenal things as a route runner. I think he's a very, very good route runner. You know, you look at the tape, you look at the way he played in Clemson. He was great. I mean, just juking out guys, just getting past the cornerback. I mean, he made him look stupid. He made him look silly. And he was able to get some nice catches. And that's the kind of guy that Mahomes needs. I mean, that's the kind of that's the kind of player that Mahomes loves. A guy that can be shifty, you know, get uh, you know, find those zones, getting, you know, getting the five, ten yards, you know, past the line of scrimmage and getting those little pockets to be able to catch the ball, turn around, and get a quick five. He can do that to perfection. You know, when the play breaks down, Mahomes is just running around. He needs someone to throw to. This guy's going to be open because he's great at route running. He can shake the defender and get open. So this was a phenomenal pickup. Every single one of these, you know, phenomenal pickups. But this one, great. It's going to do a lot to amplify the offense. Cornell Powell, great player out of Clemson. And I think he tied that team last year for touchdowns, for total receiving touchdowns. Trevor Lawrence was just relying on this guy, throwing bombs to him. He was doing great. He's going to do a phenomenal job at filling in that Sammy Watkins void. Of course, he's probably not going to be the number two receiver like Sammy was. He's going to be like three, four, because we got Nicole and D-Rob, you know. But yeah, he's going to be great. He fits in with the offense. He does a great job. The last pick of the draft, round six, pick 226. Now this guy, I mean, he just takes the offensive line from here, you know, already a top five offensive line to up here. Number one in my opinion. This guy, in a couple of years, he's going to have an incredible impact on the team. Due to the fact that he is versatile, he's a huge dude. 6'6", 330 pounds. This guy's giant, but he's versatile. That's not something you see a lot. You know, what are, the, what are they feeding these kids nowadays? Of course, I'm younger than they are. But what are they feeding these? You know, what, what are they eating? You know, I don't, I don't know. Like, put me on some of that crap. You know, what, what are they doing? How are they doing this? This guy's huge, and he's versatile. He can play multiple positions on the offensive line. Of course, his main uh, his main position is guard, but he can play tackle. With that size, being able to play tackle, this guy has a huge amount of upside. He's phenomenal. I'm excited about this draft. I mean, these guys are great. Okay, and you look at Super Bowl 55, this guy right here, Trey Smith, we would have loved him. We would have absolutely loved him on the squad. Because when Eric Fisher goes down, Trey Smith, he's a huge dude, and if he's versatile enough to play left tackle, put him there, and he can do a great job. We needed that guy. I mean, we really did, but now we've got him, okay? So no need to worry. We've got our offensive line figured out. And gosh, I mean, <laughs> Brett Veach, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to pick up players. He knows how to rebuild a team. He's just great at that. I mean, take a look at our offensive line. It's got to be top five at the very least. We're such a great line. We've done such a great job this offseason of rebuilding the offensive line. You know, there's absolutely no reason that we don't absolutely overperform on the offensive line. We're going to do great. Patrick Mahomes, he's going to have 800 years every single snap to throw the football. And that's a recipe for disaster for the rest of the league. I mean, giving Mahomes time to throw the ball, especially with these playmakers that we picked up, not good. So yeah, we are feeling great. This team, Super Bowl champions. Couldn't be happier about the way this draft went down. So thank you guys for watching, okay? See you guys in the next Chiefs chat.